us try another example to design a power caps. It is given the ultimate load of Asia loads 4200 kN. Ultimate moments equals to 75 kN. Assume that the factor of safety is equal to 1.4. The material properties include the FCK 35, FYK 500, concrete unit weight 25 kN per meter cube, bar size 16 mm, concrete cover 75 mm, column size 400 x 400, and the RC power. 300 times 300 mm with the service load of 600 kilonewton. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. Again, I use this spreadsheet to help me to work out the solutions. The Asia loads is 4200 kilonewton. The moment in excess directions is 75 kilonewton meter. There is no moment on the other side. FCK 35, FYK 500, cover 75, bar size 16 mm, column size 400 x 400, power size 300 with the capacity of 600 kN and factor of safety assumed is 1.4. Now you need to estimate the numbers of the power. To estimate that, you will need to determine the serviceability loads. The Asia loads given is in terms of the ultimate limit state. You will need to remove the factor of safety for you to obtain the serviceability loads. With that, 4200 kN is to be divided by 1.4 for you to obtain 3000 kN. Assume the self-weight of the power cap is 200 kN. The total Asia load it will be 3200 kN. It is given that the power capacity is equal to 600 kN. Divide the Asia load with the power capacity, you get 5.3 pounds. You will use 6 pounds. Next, you will need to determine the dimensions of the power caps. You may refer to the diagram here for you to obtain the dimensions of the power caps. If you do not have the dimensions, you can actually work out yourself. You know that the spacings of the power will be equal to Kf times the power size. Along the axis directions, there will be two times the spacing of the power plus half of the power here plus another half of the power here plus 150 from one side and another 150 from the other side. That gives you this formula of 2k plus 1 times the power size plus 300 mm. And at the shorter span, the spacing between the power here it will be k times power size plus half of the power size plus half of the power size plus 150 and another 150 that give you this formula of k plus 1 times power size plus 300 mm. The k here you take it as a 3. That means the power spacing it will be 3 times the power size which is 900 mm. With that, you use the formulas for the B and L which give you 1.5 meter and 2.4 meter. Your next step is for you to determine the height of the power caps. The power size is given is 300 which is less than 550. That means you can use these equations to determine the height of the power caps. Substitute into the equation here, you obtain the minimum height of 700 mm. In this case, we provide extra depth that gives you 1000 mm. 
check the self weight of the power caps which is found to be less than estimated 200 kilonewton that means it is acceptable in these questions there is a moment given that means this formula will be used to determine the load per pulse within the formula they are xi and also the moment of inertia the moment of inertia is given by this formula which is 2 times the xi square plus x2 square until xn it is determined by the distance of the columns to the central axis of the power caps as the moment rotations is on the i-axis your x1, x2 will be determined from the distance here s3, s4 equals to 0 well, x5, x6 will be equals to this distance. Square the x and your second moment of inertia is obtained here. Your service moment is determined by dividing the ultimate moment with the factor of safety of 1.4. That gives you 53.6. And this Asia load is determined for the serviceability limit state. Due to the moment rotations, the largest Asia load acting on the pulse are in reference to these two pulse. Substitute the relevant value into the formula with the x here in reference to the distance here. You will get the Asia loops equals to 530 kilonewton. This value is less than the capacity of the power, which is 600. That means the proposed 6 units of the pulse are acceptable. Next, you will need to design for the main reinforcement bar and the secondary reinforcement bar. You will need to determine the ultimate load adding on the power. First, because of the moment rotations, you will have to substitute the ultimate moment into the formula here. The x here is referring to the distance here to the column surface. The p here is the ultimate load as given in the questions n equals to 6 units of pulse and the i is obtained from the calculation just now this will give you the ultimate load per pulse of 736 kilonewton the moment acting on this surface it will be determined by 2 times the fx times the distance as for the moment for the y it is determined from the force per power of this formula as you do not have moment in these directions this will be equal to zero and the asian load here is the ultimate load divided by six units of power the load per power is given here. The moment in the yy directions, which is referring to this plan, it will be 3 units of pulse multiply the distance y here. That will give you this value. Once you have obtained the moments at the column phase in the xs and yy directions, you will need to design for the main reinforcement bar. First, you need to determine the effective depth of the reinforcement bar. Bigger moment is expected in these directions. Therefore, you expect the reinforcement bar in these directions to be laid at a larger depth, which is calculated as the height of the power caps 
minus the nominal cover minus half of the bar size which is equals to 917mm as for the reinforcement bar in these directions it will be on top of the longitudinal bar therefore the effective depth it will be H minus nominal cover minus the bar size of the longitudinal minus half of X bar size that give you the effective depth of 901 mm design the main reinforcement bar using this formula which substitute the M which you obtained earlier on into the formula get the K and you know that it is less than 0 0.167 that means compression bar is not required substitute K into the formula for the Z you get Z equals to 0 0.979 D which is more than 0 0.95 D you will use only 0 0.95 D which is equals to 871.15 mm calculate the tensile reinforcement bar based on this formula you obtain 2719 which is equals to 14 units of Y16 the provided amount of reinforcement bar is greater than the required use these formulas to check for the minimum and the maximum reinforcement bar and for the checking of the maximum and minimum reinforcement bar it is acceptable next you need to design for the transverse bar use the moment that you calculate from the yy axis go through the same set of calculations of finding the k the z and the as you will need 16 unit of y16 bar and then check for the maximum and minimum amount of reinforcement bar you found that the minimum amount of reinforcement bar is inadequate you will need to increase the numbers of reinforcement bar so that the provided reinforcement bar is greater than the minimum amount of reinforcement bar.